The conditional format is where Excel will make a cell look different based on some criteria. With the trend-based conditional formats, it compares a data set against itself and basically ranks all the values in that data and applies formatting accordingly. In this case scenario, Bill has been given data on waste management in Australian states and has been asked to make it easy for people to quickly spot trends and anomalies. For example, we're going to scroll down to our resource in recovery and recycling rates. Bill would like to make it very obvious where we're producing large amounts of landfill. We're going to select the data from E29 down to E36, and then we're going to come up to our Home tab in our ribbon and click Conditional Formatting. The first two options are value-based conditional formats. Well, we're going to be focusing on all these three, which are our trend-based. We'll start with our color scale. Now, Bill wants where we have a high level of landfill to show in red, going through orange, yellow, and green for lower values. To achieve that, we're going to go for the red, yellow, and green color scale. Then, as you hover over the different options, you'll see that you can choose whichever one suits your data. I'm just going to click to apply. Really easy. Now, you're not limited to just a column or just a row. You can apply to an entire block of data. So let's do the same for resource recovery rates by region. I'm going to click on C17 and drag down to H24. Again, come to Conditional Formats. Resource recovery rates, and we want the high results recovery rates this time to be green. So we're going to come down to the color scales, and I'm going to choose the first option this time. And there's our data nicely formatted. The potential downsides with the color scales is that they're quite busy, and if you don't provide a key, it might not be totally intuitive. Let's look now at how we can remove a conditional format, and then we'll apply one that might be a little bit better for this data. I'm going to come back to Conditional Formatting, and this time I'm going to come down to Clear Rules. You'll see we have an option to clear these selected cells or from the entire sheet. We want to clear from selected cells. Easy come, easy go. Still, with your data selected, we're going to come back to Conditional Formatting, and this time we'll have a look at the data bars. Hover over the different options. I'm going to go to the light blue, but you can choose any color that you like. You can see it's almost like applying a chart. The larger values, the bar is almost the whole way across the cell, whereas the smaller values, you get a much smaller bar. Now, the way it works with all the trend-based formats is by default. It starts with the lowest value as the bottom of the set and the highest value at the top of the set. In a moment, we will look at actually how you can modify that, but for this one, it's looking great. We're just going to left align the text and maybe make it a size 9. One more example we're going to look at, which is icon sets. We can apply the icon sets to the data in the cell, but in this particular example, we'd actually like to put it in a separate cell. Let's click into J17 and let's type equals and click into your cumulative growth rate in I17 and press enter. We'll then just click back and double click the fill handle to copy that down. Then with your data still selected, we're going to come up to the conditional formatting and come to icon sets. The icon sets allow you to categorize your data into three, four, or five categories. And the category we'd like to use is three triangles. So we're going to click on that and to apply it. Once again, you can see that it's taken the top third made of those green triangles. The middle third has got the yellow lines, and the bottom third, because that value is quite a lot lower than the others, has got the red triangle. But in this case, it's not what we want at all. We would like all of our positive growth rates to have a green triangle, and all of our negative ones to have a red triangle. And if there's been no change, to see the yellow line. We're now going to look at how to actually customize our conditional format. Again, make sure that you've got them selected. Come back to Conditional Formatting. We're now going to choose Manage Rules right at the bottom. 
By default, you will see the rules applying to the current selection, but if you come up to where it says current selection, you can actually switch this worksheet to see all the rules in your worksheet. And from here, you can delete rules you don't want or edit rules, and we're going to edit the icon set rules. So we're going to click on it and then click edit rule. We could switch it out for a completely different trend based format if we wanted and you can mix and match the icons but you have to select the icons provided. You can also change the boundaries. You can see at the moment that it's making the top 33% green. We actually want all the positive numbers to be green. We're going to switch percent to number and then we're going to say greater than zero. So it doesn't include zero. Then the second group, we're going to make that number as well. I'm going to say greater than or equal to zero. Now that seems a bit odd, but the ones that are greater than zero are already getting a green triangle. This will only pick up equal to zero and everything else will get a red triangle. One more thing, we want to show icons only. I'm going to tick that box and we're going to say, okay. At this point, you don't have to press apply unless you want to do something else in this dialog. You can just click OK and there are icons clearly showing that there has been an increase or a decrease in our cumulative growth rate.